So we got the belt on nice and tight and proper. Couldn't turn it 90 degrees, so I know it's good. So now I'm gonna fix my speedometer and odometer, and this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need the connector first of all. Here's the connector. Connector, mine burnt out. That's for the speed sensor. Gonna need the key shrink butt connectors here. Um, this one is the speed sensor, I would say. Yep, speed sensor and a crimping tool. That's what you're gonna need. So to get to the speed sensor, we gotta take all this off. All right, take this off, this off. So we're using a 10 millimeter to take off the, I think this is the air filter. Now other side, come over here. This side and it's more. I'm just looking what I need to take off. So after you take off the nuts and bolts of this, put it somewhere, you're not gonna lose it, so we're gonna put it right here. And we're gonna take this part out. Hopefully get to the speed sensor. Easier. Oh make sure you also unplug this one. the math sense oh. okay. so take that out put it somewhere you're not gonna lose it so right there easy insulation all i gotta do is lift it up put it back and come over here and i'll take over the speed sensor is let me just look around here The speed sensor is all the way back there. Let me just uh, focus here real quick for you guys. Oh, uh, maybe I could see it better here. You guys see this cord? Um, this cord here? That's the, sp the speed sensor for the 2004 Mitsubishi Lancer. It's a bit hard to get to, but it's like all the way back here. Take out the speed sensor connector. By pulling it like that. And we're going to be replacing the connector here. I'm going to focus on that. See how it's burnt there? That's how I know it's the speed sensor. You want? I told you to focus. See how much better when it's focused? Mm -hmm. See, that's where it's burnt, right there. That's why my speedometer and speedometer remote work. So now we're gonna replace this. And how you replace it is you line it up the same way, and you do each wiring, and you splice on a butt connector. And we'll show you. All right, so what you want to do is you want to cut into this about, I'd say, this far so that we could actually replace every single wire and to spread out the, the butt connector so that it's not all in the same spot and all bulky and looks all wonky. So. Just make sure you don't cut the wires while you're doing this. Make sure you go careful because we'll, we'll patch this up again because this needs I need to be able to know how much I'm driving so I could replace my oil correctly every 4,800 kilometers which is 5k miles okay let's check it see so we could put a butt plug here at the close one you could put another butt plug in the middle and another butt plug here so i'd say in three or four more inches
I'd say a little more. Those are pretty big butt plugs. Yeah, we're good.